Ah, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, shed update, and uh, we've had cooler temperatures here in the great state of Oklahoma, so I can actually uh, stay out here for a little longer. Uh, last time, I did all the ships. I still got to put them up. I got to work upstairs, but that's an early, early morning activity during the summer, so uh, I got my little pile to go up, but anyway, we're going to start on the tanks. We're going to do two of them, because I went through them uh, slowly. One is... Uh, dragons the grill and uh, again this is I call them there was a there was a hobby store here in town many many years ago <clears throat> not X plus kits but he had X kits and those were discounted and they were always either missing waterlogged whatever and I always remembered they were X kits and I always kind of wanted to steal that for me but uh, anyway it's complete Except for, if I don't lose it, except for one, one side of road wheels. And I was like, all right, you know, I'll buy it. I mean, everything else is there, the figures. <clears throat> you know, the figures are there. I mean, for whatever reason, one side of the uh, road wheel not there but anyway other than that you know but anyway that's a what a 38t uh so you can find them anywhere and if necessary you can uh uh you know cast one wheel and make your own you know but anyway there's other ways to but anyway i picked it up because you know uh models just can't go to waste so anyway we're adding another grill uh to uh the art uh, Again, he liked his dragon kits. We got a bunch of them to go through. They always, dragon takes a little bit. They're more piece, uh, lots of pieces, if you could. So, Stug 3, Offs G. And uh, I'm pretty sure this kit, it, it started. But, uh, you know, all he did was cut out the road wheels. I mean, they're all counted there, and uh, everything else is intact. Photo etch still even uh, sealed in the bag, you know. But anyway, one thing I did like about Dragon is they did the long, elongated uh, instruction sheet, which, <clears throat> and uh, I always, of course, you know, in my younger youth. Uh, See the and I'm probably going to do it wrong here. Uh, whatever's in blue is what's the kit, or whatever in the blue is you don't use, and uh, you know you start gluing stuff on you know, like oh this don't fit, but it you know then you realize ah multi pieces for additional kits you know that's probably got stuff for the uh, F in there or whatever you know. But anyway, I do like Stugs. I you know just so much you can do that. But anyway, a uh, very nice find uh, again. Uh, one of those, what's that say? Uh, Dragon Care, Global Economy. Old school, we'll have to go uh, look that up. Anyway, I do like Dragon Kids, so, uh, and uh, he liked his German. So we uh, will add another Stug to uh, the art. So, uh, let me do one more. And we'll look at it together since uh, we... Uh, I haven't gone to this one. That'll, that'll do. Ah, the Kugel Blitz. I'm a big fan. I built one uh, many years ago. I think it's one of the coolest, uh, you know, Panja fours there is, just because it's different. Uh, back when, uh, you know, no one uh, really built that type of armor, you know, and now it's just, you know, especially since uh, World of Tanks. So let's see. I haven't even looked at it. Ah. We got here review. Kayla speak complete. Will start. Ah, will started in the bag. Where is the wheels? Well, that's all there. That's all there. All right. Uh, wheels. So I assume uh, whenever these were uh, pawned off. Uh, Someone was uh, starting to go look through them, found out that's a task, and then they called me. 
told me to come and uh, take care of it, and I did. But anyway, Kugel Blitz, uh, I like the kit. I think it's one of them just pretty darn slick. But anyway, we're on uh, the Kugel Blitz, another Kugel Blitz, because I think I got a Dragon one. I may have a different, uh, I'll say a brand, but I don't quite remember. But one thing about Dragon kits, and I don't know if... Uh, now, if they're different, uh, I love their box art. It makes you want to build it. Uh, I love the paintings, and this one is by a, I can't even, back in 1999. That's one artist. So I assume Dragon has uh, quite a few. Where is it? Right there. You know, sometimes you don't get to see artist names on, uh, you know, I want to say licensed product. You don't really see the artist name on the, maybe in the instructions, but not on the box. But I do like their box arts. I think you can actually, uh, you really, you know, I know their paintings and that's always enticed me to build it. If you didn't want to build, uh, you know, strictly just a tank, look at the groundwork for it, you know, a little bit of snow on it and everything, just, I think it looks cool. But anyway. Uh, we like to do a little research on the paintings and artists and all that because it all just, you know, works together. So, uh, we got more tanks, but we'll do them uh, next time because I got to put up, I got a pile going here. I got things to put up and I uh, need to go through things. So, uh, garage sales. I, uh, I actually go to garage sales, thrifts and all that. And uh, some people will sell me a uh, like a tub of toys, like an 18 gallon tote. Basically, it's uh, they either you know junk stuff they put in, and uh, I go through them and all that, and I resell some stuff. But I do uh, find some things in there, and one is uh, I believe he's a, a biker scout for like an RC or a or a what was it a zip pull like the old uh, Evil Knievel, and. Uh, He's an excellent vinyl uh, figure. He's actually in scale. I have one. Not handy. It's up there. Uh, the old AMT Biker Scout. Now, the Biker Scout that comes with the AMT kit, he's a little, uh, I don't want to say basic, but if you replace him with him, uh, now that's, uh, it's a, uh, of course, his hand's a little more, you know, holding the uh, handles. You know, the model one's a little bit better than that, but other than that, he's, uh, I think he works out really well for the speeder bike. So, uh, I do have a couple of these, because uh, I've had these uh, for a very long time, and uh, I try to put these with the AMT uh, Biker Scout, so basically have two figures, which is the way we like to work here inside uh, the yard. But anyway, adding uh, a vinyl bike, Biker Scout too. For the uh, AMT speeder bikes, and uh, actually, sometimes you do find model kits. Oh, now where'd it go? And uh, one in particular, I found the AMT uh, tie interceptor, which I I really like the kit. I think it's uh, it's a clean break. And uh, there's a couple things that are chipped off of it, but no big deal. But anyway, it's one of those, uh, you know, you don't see often, you know. And you always have uh, tie interceptors. And, uh, you know, and if you dig deep enough, you know, you can even find the uh, rest of the pieces to it. Including the uh, stand, which that was, uh, you know. And one thing about some kits, you know, I know some kids don't paint them or they don't, you know, they wanted it like it is, or, uh, you know, they didn't know how to paint, or whatever, but anyway. Tie interceptors, you know, of course the wings broke off, you know, you make a tie ugly, you know, just so much you can do. And then me, you know, I have to, uh, mostly when I find the kits, I bag everything, and, uh, I bought a bunch of Aurora kits at a, uh, a garage sale. I had to go up in their attic pretty much to go get it. And that took like a week just to go through all the parts, you know. But anyway, 
bag it like so and uh bag kits again so usable i know there's some things kind of chipped off you know pointy but other way i can clean it up and you know always have a uh, always have spare parts and uh you know an extra kit to uh, do whatever you want uh a little side thing here is uh i kind of started getting into it i i've been kind of holding them and that's uh stickers uh cult event he's put stickers with his uh, orders and uh, i've been really collecting uh model cards from uh, a lot of different people uh and that fell down like don's finds uh stuff like that uh trying to get their cards and everything i've just been uh been slowly acquiring them you know i think they're uh i know that i know the cards you know come and go and uh, I do like the stickers. I like to sticker the uh, the door that goes upstairs to the ark. Uh, but I do try to pick up stuff like that. Yeah, just uh, a little more intricate uh, history inside uh, the ark. And uh, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, y'all should have seen a little video on that. And that is Marilyn Monroe. We are adding her to the ark. I do have a little X plus section, which... Uh, had to uh, scoot down Monarch just tad, get uh, X Plus in there to go in with the uh, Aurora. And uh, I think she works out pretty well. Beautiful kit. Uh, of course, I am too, like everyone, like to see her in her uh, white dress. But anyway, we'll take what we can get. Just a very unique kit. I mean, subject matter uh, hits all the right spots as in, you know, uh, military figure modeler you know just uh, everything and uh very unique kit there's uh i have all the female kits except for one and that is the bride of frankenstein from x plus and uh i personally think she's about twenty dollars too high but anyway i may probably break down and get it anyway but anyway uh we're adding uh marilyn mcrow marilyn 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 monroe too uh, the yard but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what i got going on today again starting on the uh tanks so we can get them upstairs and restack all that and uh and just little things stickers cards and uh bag kits to the yard but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what i got going on today stay tuned for this exciting uh episode